Our topic for today is all about percentage. Learning competency finds the percentage in a given problem. And this is your module number three for the third quarter. The learning objectives, after going through this module, you are expected to find the percentage in a given problem. As we usually do, we are going to have the pretest first. Here is the direction. Find the percentage. Number one, 16% of 10. Now we're going to rename 16% into fraction and that is 16 hundredths times 10. And what's the answer? Number two, 10% of 80. Doing the same, renaming percent into fraction and 10% becomes 1 10. And that's 1 10 times 80 is equals to 1. Number three, 95% of 100 and that's 95 hundredths times 100. Number four, 20% of 15. 20% of 15. As you can see, 20% is renamed into fraction as 1 fifth times 15. The preposition of means times or multiply. So what's the answer in number four? Number five, 5% 5 of 40. 5% 5 is 1 20th in fraction times 40. What is the answer? So I'm giving you 10 seconds to answer this question and your timer starts now. The time is up. So here are the answers to this question. Number one, one and six tenths. Number two, eight. Number three, 95. Number four, three. And number five is two. Let's proceed to the recap. This is just a matter of review of our previous lesson. So match column A with column B. So here are the items in column A and here are the items in column B. Number one, five is to 10. So we are going to answer number one as an example. So we're going to match this five is to 10 into the items here in column B. And what do you think is the answer? Using a line and five is to 10 is probably five tenths. So we're going to cross or draw a line going to this element. And now, let's proceed to number 2, base, number 3, percentage, number 4, 20%, and 5 is the rate. So it's up for you to answer the remaining items. I'm giving you 5 seconds to answer these questions. The timer starts now. Time is up. So here are the answers. In column A, we have 5 is to 10, and that is 5 tenths. Base represents the whole or the total. The percentage represents a part of a whole. And number four, 20% is the same as one fifth. And number five, the rate is with the symbol percent. Let us now proceed to our lesson and we're going to start this with this article. The Department of Social Welfare and Development DSWD said on Thursday, May 7, 2020 that 13.5 million low-income families or 75% of the 18 million households targeted to receive the Social Amelioration Program or SAP subsidy have been served. Based on this article, let us analyze the data stated in this article. Let us consider the percent, rate, and the base in analyzing. Question number one. What does 13.5 million represent? Okay, 13.5 or 13,500,000 is the percentage. That's correct. Number two, what about 75%? 75% is the rate. That's correct. What about number three? What is 18 million all about? Yes, 18 million is all about the base. This refers to the base, obviously. So let's find out if 13,500,000 representing the percentage is correct. To find the percentage, we multiply the base and the rate. Thus, P is equals to base times the rate. So percentage is equal to 18 million times 75% or in decimal, 7,500. Here is it. 18 million times 7,500 and multiplying 5 to all the factors here and that's 90 million and 7 multiplying it to all the factors here and that's 126 million adding the initial products that will give us 1 billion 250 million but of course we have decimal point here two decimal places 
So we're going to get two decimal places here. And the answer, 13,500,000, which is the correct percentage as shown in our problem. Now let us have another example. There are 45 pupils in Mr. Garcia's class. Because of the heavy traffic, 20% were late coming to school. How many pupils came late? So first, identify the rate, the base, and the percentage. Use N for the unknown number. So let's identify what's the rate. Of course, the rate is 20% and the base is 45. The missing term or the unknown number is the percentage. So second, restate the problem as what is 20% of 45? So to solve for the problem, we use the formula percentage is equal to rate times the base or rate times the base is equal to the percentage. There are different ways in solving the problem. So number one, percent or rate in fraction form with 100 as denominator. So we have 20% of 45 is equal to N. So we're going to change 20% into fraction and that will give us 20 hundredths times 45. 20 hundredths becomes 2 tenths and 45 becomes 45 over 1. Just to make both fraction. So we're going to multiply now 2 times 45 is equal to 90 and 10 times 1 is equal to 10 and that's 90 over 10 or 90 divided by 10 is equal to 9. Another way of getting it is that we are going to change 20% into the lowest term. Following the formula, rate times the base is equal to percentage, 20% times 45 is equal to n, whereas 20% becomes 1 pif times 45 over 1. In changing 45, the whole number, into fraction, we just simply add denominator 1 and that will give us 45 over 1. So we multiply 1 times 45 and that's 45, 5 times 1 is 5. 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. As you can see, even if we are using different way of doing it, changing it into fraction with the lowest term or changing it into fraction with the denominator of 100, we will still arrive with the same answer. Okay, another way of doing it is that changing percent into decimal, whereas 20% will become 2 tenths. So applying the formula, P is equal to rate times the base. So we have 2 tenths times 45 is obviously 9. Or 45 times 2 tenths is equal to 9.0. Or the final answer to this problem is 9. So I hope that you are now ready in doing your activities. So let's now proceed to our activity number 1. Practice. Direction. Find the value of the percentage in each number. Number 1. 80% of 60 is equals to N. Number 2, 50% of 72 is equals to N. Number 3, 25% of 140 is equals to N. And number 4, 20% of 180 is equals to N. And number 5, 3% of 200 is equals to N. Take note that we are just going to find the percentage. And I have shown you different ways of getting it. It is up for you which one is the easiest way of doing this percentage problem. Okay, let us now proceed to our activity number two. Keep practicing. Identify the given percentage in each of the given statement. This time you are not going to solve, you are just going to identify the percentage in each of the problem. Problem number one. There were 15 grandparents who attended the PTA meeting last month. This is 75% out of 75 people who attended the meeting. Number two, out of the 7,200 pesos donation by the PTA, Gabriel's parents donated 2,700 pesos, and this is 37.5% of the total donations, which is the percentage in this problem. Number three, after selling 90% of Carlos papaya in his store, which is equivalent to 108 papayas, he decided to bring home one half of the remaining 12 papayas and leave the other half in the store. Identify the percentage in this problem number three. Okay, so let's now proceed to activity number three. This is the test yourself. So, find the value of percentage in each of the given problems. 
This time, you are going to solve for the percentage. Problem number one. Ricky's agricultural farm is progressing. This year, it harvested 25% more sack of rice than last year. If last year, it harvested 3,500 sacks, how many sacks of rice did it harvest this year? Problem number two. A businessman borrowed 250,000 pesos at 18% yearly interest from the land bank for his online selling business. How much will he pay for the interest? Take note in answering these problems, you should always consider the formula percentage is equal to base times the rate. So let's now proceed to our wrap. Answer the following questions. What are you going to do to find the percentage of a given number? Number two, what element is pertaining to the part of a whole? Number three, what should you do to the rate before multiplying it to the base? Number four, is it possible to change the percent rate into decimal? Number five, which is easier to use for you? Is it percent rate to fraction or percent rate to decimal? So I'm leaving all these questions for you to answer in your personal notebook. Let us now proceed to the valuing. 75% of 18 million households targeted to receive the Social Amelioration Program, SAP, subsidy have been served. Okay, question number one. Based on this article, what percent of 18 million households did not receive yet the Social Amelioration Program subsidy? Number two. Did your family receive the Social Amelioration Program SAP, subsidy from our government? How do you feel? And number three. What should you do in order to avoid COVID-19 virus? Okay, let's now proceed to our post-test. Find the value of N. Number one, 5% of 50. Take note that we're going to change this percent into decimal in order for us to compute for the percentage. Number two, 2% of 8 and 2% becomes 200 times 8. Number three, 12% of 150, 12% becomes 1,200. And for the continuation, test 2, solve, find the value of percentage. Number 1, Erlinda got 90% correct answer from a 50 item test. How many correct answers did she get? Number 2, Roding's weekly allowance is 500 pesos. If he saves 20%, how much does he have after three weeks? Okay, as I was saying, always remember to follow the formula in finding the percentage. And here are the answers to your activities. It's almost time. That's all for today. Stay safe and God bless you.